This video brought to you by 300 Spartans, a new performance by Jake Majar and Yulia Besarab, coming soon. Ladies and gentlemen, so we are back at Robo Gospel Championship for this anniversary. I'm here with the hero in my book for sure and I think it's a hero in, in the book of Emerald Dance for Championship too so gorgeous dress great partner great dancing 100 entries at least and the arm which is as you see it's in the sling right that's called the sling right yes okay yes. so I don't want you to think like sorry for her or something I want you to get inspired because she's not sitting on her the back part right she's actually competing and competing in competing hard doing championships and all that so what happened where do you find your courage and energy and strength it was an old tennis injury and finally just it went uh, detached the rotator cuff and tore the bicep okay him no what? no not what? him what do you have to what do you have to tell for your for yourself today John well I was uh, when it first happened I was scared <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, so obviously that's not you but how did you how did you feel first like when and when you saw her in that thing? Well, she told me about it before she had the surgery, so I had to, in my head, figure out how, what we were going to work on first, because she couldn't right away work on anything. So we talked more about dance theory, the history of dances. Uh, we worked a lot on timing and, and different things like that before she could actually move physically. So that, that was about a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I you actually I interrupted you. So and you were telling me so you had a tennis injury, right? And and just with the dancing and everything being pulled on, it finally detached, and so I had to have the surgery. And I just I did not want to be away from dance. It's a very slow, long recovery. Is that the first competition you're dancing? Uh, no, like this that? is this is our fifth. Okay. Uh, how was the process of figuring out actually how to move around it? Because I noticed when you were dancing, you I see you subconsciously want to grab that arm, but uh, <laughs> but then you're like, ah, nope, not today. Uh, right. um, it's just something I had to get used to. Um, yeah. And we actually choreographed. I had to choreograph five routines, um, rhythm routines, and I, I had that in mind. So there was a lot of hand changes that I would have to use for the for our open pieces. Um, for the clothes, you know, it was just a process of doing them over and over again and, and getting used to the, the connections. So what actually, what drives you, what moves you actually to not to sit home and to say, I'm poor thing, I have to recover, I'm sorry Timmy, I cannot fly anywhere. What actually, what brought you on, on your up, back on your feet and back to competing? I didn't want to just sit around and not do anything and I love dancing and I just, I could not honestly see myself not dancing for eight or nine months it's not gonna happen so my feet work ladies and gentlemen one way or another I hope this is inspiring to you hundred entries with the arm which you cannot touch you cannot move and the Emerald World Dance for Championship that's a hero thank you ladies and gentlemen more interviews and insights come, coming up so stick around on Facebook pages Instagram so we'll be there